we actually filmed this in 1981, and then we worked on it for nine months. That took us into 1982. We finished it in 1982, and then it went and was released in 1983 as a major motion picture after playing for 60, 17 performances on PBS. Am I close? No, you're off by a year. Okay. Then, so we started, in, we, the we actually shot it in 82? No, we shot it in 80. 80? <laughs> there you go. You're acting 80. Yeah, I'm acting 80. <laughs> yeah. But needless to say, the journey that has all of you sitting here is, uh, is really an experience that I have to say thank you to uh, Mokde for being the producer and really developing this piece of work, this level. And the genius of him was to allow me to be the producer. Oh my God. <laughs> because at that moment, to at that moment in time, I can tell you right now, he came to me and he asked me to do two films for him. He asked me to do the ballad, no, with a pistol in his hand and the Milagro Beanfield War. But the only way I could do the Milagro Beanfield War was to do the, with a pistol in his hand. So, but he said the key ingredient, he said, who would you like to have direct you in this movie? And my life changed for the rest of my life to this day. I had known Bob Young for, since 1975. And we did one film together before this. And um, amazing, amazing aesthetic that you will see in this film. The change is the course of film. Very few people really understand the aesthetic. It's easy to pronounce, it's easy to say, but almost impossible to do it correctly. And there have been very few people that have been able to really comprehend and use it. And so the best thing I ever did was asking Bob to read the ballad of Gregorio Cortez. And ladies and gentlemen, this is truly the man who gave us this story, the total intent of the piece, and the understanding of what it is to really make a piece of work that not only lasts for 100 years, but is hailed by the United States Historical Society as the most authentic Western ever made in, in film history. You're about to see it. Thank you. I did do my homework. When, when, when Eddie said, I want Robert Young to direct me, I did look at his movies. And I did see Alambrista, which is an astonishing movie. Right. And I did see Nothing But a Man, which is a That's profound right. movie. And I knew that Edward James Olmos was not only a brilliant actor, but he actually had some good sense. <laughs>